Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I just have a little screenshot I want to show you guys up front of some dialogue back and forth in the video comments. And you guys also saw Steve Shaw chime in, and Steve Shaw has been coaching powerlifters and strength athletes for 25 years. But the same rule kind of applies to everyone. It doesn't matter what you're training for. Everyone's going to need progressive overload. You're going to have to have progressive overload to get bigger. You're going to have to have progressive overload to get stronger. It's just an absolute requirement for anyone's goals who is trying to improve in the weight room. It doesn't matter whether you're trying to bodybuild or powerlift or do strongman or general fitness. Progressive overload is everything. We've known this for over 2,000 years. It's been documented all the way back into ancient Greece, very well understood. One of the big things that you see, and we see this a lot with rookie lifters, guys who've been lifting six months, a year, year and a half, sometimes two years, they don't always grasp that progress isn't linear. You will make, if you train intelligently and you train hard and you train correctly, you will make most of your lifetime drug-free gains in your first year in the gym. And for the guys who do, who make these fantastic Progress. There are guys who come in in that first year in the gym, they're squatting 350 pounds or benching 225 for a couple reps. They put on 15 or 20 pounds of muscle in that first year. It's amazing when you do that because it's fantastic. You, you reach those really good goals, but it tends to give people this false idea that they're going to keep making those same type of gains forever. And they don't realize that if they've done that, the amount of progress they made in that first year is more than they're probably going to make over the next five years combined. You have massively diminished returns the longer you train in lifting. And, and so people oftentimes say things like you haven't reached a goal. And it's always funny when they do that, that they'll say something like the guy said, well, I got to a 380 pound squat and it only it took me less than two years to get there. So I don't think a 500 uh, pound squat natural is unreasonable. And they don't realize actually that's fairly rare. People see so many outstanding lifters and things on YouTube or they might happen to go to a gym where there are several top level power lifters or something there and they see those numbers and they don't realize that in the grand scheme of things, not even 1% of drug-free guys who lift and squat regularly will ever hit a 500-pound squat, at least raw. That's just the reality of it. You go to regional powerlifting meets, you don't see that many guys squatting over 500 raw, at least to depth. Yes, in the championship world, and when you go to national level events or international level events, it's not that impressive. There are guys who are brutally strong, but you need to understand those are generally people who are in the top 1% of strength sports genetically or the top 10th of a percent of strength sports genetically. They are the genetic elite. They've usually been training for many years. And they have fantastic coaching. That is actually fairly rare to be squatting over 500 pounds for a drug-free lifter. But it's that linear progress that makes people think that they're just going to keep repeating the same thing over and over. And what they don't realize is that what I've seen, and I've talked with Steve Shaw personally about this over video calls, laughed about this before, is someone who's coached a lot of people, that you see a lot of young lifters. They get to 380, they get to 400 on their squat inside of two years, inside of two to three years, it's really common. It's, it's common for even guys who are trying to bodybuild or, or focus on aesthetics who go and actually squat heavy. Those numbers aren't unobtainable inside of that time frame. They're fairly common for guys who squat really hard on a decent program. They're not that uncommon, but it is very rare for the guy who takes two or three years to get to a 400 pound squat to ever reach a 500 pound squat natural. I've seen a lot of guys do that. I've seen guys who get to that 400 squat at about two years, two and a half years, which is, is pretty good for someone who's not trying to compete at the world level in powerlifting. That is an impressive achievement. However, very rarely does that guy go from 400 raw with no wraps or anything to 500 raw without going on drugs. It happens, but it's relatively rare. It's not something that one in five guys are going to do. But if you trained intelligently on a good program, you kind of milk out that progress. And so it doesn't just keep going and going. You're going to gain at best. In a best case scenario, you're going to make 50% of the progress the next year that you made the year before. And that is the most extreme best case scenario. Don't even count on that happening. That, that is an absolute win. If every year in the gym you can make exactly half the progress in the new year that you made the year before, that is considered to be amazing and you should be very proud of yourself if you can pull that off so remember guys just because you got to a 380 squat uh, raw and drug free in a couple of years or 400 
don't assume that means that you're going to reach 500 in the next couple of years because statistically it probably will not happen. I'm not saying don't try, reach for the stars, but understand that that's not typical. And guys, please remember that if you enjoy my videos or you enjoyed this video and you like my work and what I do, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys would click like down below. Every single like is appreciated. So thank you.